Hey guys, welcome to the finale of Twilight Princess. You might notice my rupee count is a little different. I went and deposited everything in Mallow's fund, came back through here, and got all the chests that didn't fit in my wallet last time. So I'm at 500 now. So if I do decide to do the side quest stuff, I think there's like 800 something more rupees I gotta deposit before Mallow Mart opens up. But I don't know if I'm really gonna do that. This might be the finale. This was such a cool moment the first time. Finally, waited like the whole game just to see what they did with Ganon. Since Ocarina of Time. Welcome to my castle. <laughs> so you're Ganondorf. I've been dying to meet you. Your people have long amused me, Midna, to defy the gods with such petty magic, only to be cast aside. How very pathetic. <laughs> pathetic as they were, though, they served me well. Their anguish was my nourishment. Their hatred bled across the void and awakened me. I drew deep of it and grew strong again. Your people had some skill, to be sure, but they lacked true power. The kind of absolute power that those chosen by the gods wield. He who wields such power would make a suitable king for this world, don't you think? Ha! Such conceit! But if you are one of the chosen wielders of power as you claim, I will risk everything to deny you! Shadow has been moved by light, it seems. How amusing. Very well, deny me then! Yes, try to deny me, you and your little friend. Man, Ganondorf is so cool in this game. I think it's the, still, to this day, the best Ganondorf. <laughs> it's crazy. Both of you faithless fools who would dare to take up arms against the King of Light and Shadow. So you choose and so you shall feel my wrath. Alright, let's go, Puppet Zelda. Ganon's Puppet Zelda, excuse me. Unfortunately, as cool as Ganondorf is and how well written this story has been throughout this whole game, Well, this first phase is a joke. The second phase is alright, I suppose. It's fitting for the Twilight Princess mechanics. There's a third phase that's really awesome. But, I don't know how well it holds up today. And then the fourth phase is just an absolute joke. Oh, look out. Yeah, I don't know if that thing could ever actually hurt you. I don't think I've ever been damaged by that move. But yeah, this is just like the traditional Ganondorf fight from Ocarina of Time. You gotta reflect the, uh, these things whenever he, she does it. Poor Zelda, man. I have to wonder if she's feeling any of this pain. Yeah, I got the Great Fairy's Tears equipped. 
probably gonna use that on the final phase. Although, I kinda don't want to, because A, you don't need it at all, it's way too easy. And B, it's gonna make it go so fast. It's kind of one of those fights you have to purposely just swing. You ever play a game and you get so good at it that when you go to replay it because you're bored and I guess you have no life and you still want to keep doing it like me when I was a kid? Uh, oh crap! Well, there's my answer. It can hurt you. That might have been the first time ever that I got hurt by that move. Too busy talking over here. Um. Wait, is that you gotta purposely there we go. Ganondorf's got some crazy screams in this game. I <laughs> can't do it. But kills your throat too. Minna, you can wake up from that crazy stare you got earlier. Oh, she's pissed. <laughs> Don't question it, but she's better. I don't know. I don't understand either, really. <laughs> Mid no. You gotta love her, man. Probably one of the coolest sidekicks Link ever had in any Zelda game. Well, here we go. Phase two, of course. It's not a cannon fight if... Jeez. I love the drums, though. Dark Beast Ganon! Sounds... real familiar. Yep, 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 yep! Ah, Crawd, I was trying to draw my bow. I thought you could get a shot in early. Maybe you can. I was just too slow. Yeah, the music to this fight is crazy. Alright, let's go, pal. Ah, Crawd! I should have took a few steps back. You're supposed to be a wolf, I think. But I also seem to remember, unless this is just my dumb confusion, when I played it as a, well, I wasn't even a kid. But I thought like the first, jeez, forgot about that. Yeah, but here, oh, here, here. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I thought the first few hits you gotta do this. Ackroyd. But nah, I think you're supposed to be a wolf now that I'm realizing I'm getting hit every two seconds and I missed a whole cycle. Screw that. Let's do what we're supposed to do. I'll race you. I'm coming for you. Alright. This is actually pretty cool, though. Oh, he's still doing this. I'm waiting for him to do his little teleporter move. So get ready for the prompt. Full day and toss him like a goat. Yeah, I'm bringing that back since the beginning of the game. <laughs> Sprint, dashing, yum yum yum, on the little lightning bolt tum tum. But what I was saying before is, when you get so good at a game or you've just replayed it that many times, and it's a cool moment, but it's way too easy, you gotta like purposely draw it out by playing bad on purpose. You know, savor the moment. You gotta play bad on purpose. That's kind of the Ganon fight of this game is. Exactly, like, it's a perfect description of it. Still waiting for the day they make a Zelda game with Ganondorf as the boss and even the most experienced veteran Zelda players that can beat the game three hearts, no damage, struggle to beat him. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, this one, the right one turns blue. Here we go. Yibba dibba, yibba shibba, gonna toss you. And then I'm gonna chomp on your belly. Yeah. Oh, it kind of makes you wonder though, how would you design something like that? Thanks for the arrows. Oh, jeez. This is probably the last hit, if I had to guess. Because it's it's feeling like at that point like it's drawn out at this point. Yep. But yeah, this next phase, when I first saw it, I was so happy. 
It's like all your Ocarina of Time fantasies come true. But yeah, it is, I think, uh, a little bit clunky by today's standards. I don't know, I'm still trying to assess how I feel overall about this playthrough of the game. Oh, look at that! Strange, Midna said with her new power she could revive Zelda, or give her back the power that Zelda put into her. But the way she was acting there, it looked like it was an accident. Princess, I... Say nothing, Midna. Your heart and mine were as one, however briefly. Such suffering you have endured. Oh, poor Midna, she's like crying over there. <laughs> Link. Uh, can't do anything but smile all dopey. What a laugh! <laughs> Don't do it, Midno! And uh, she's all happy. Cool music, too. Ganondorf fused belch. It's not very effective. Too bad you don't actually get to see anything there, but kind of neat. So Zelda, how'd you get your body back? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I think in the HD version, they made fire at the backdrop of this, which is really cool. As opposed to just this regular daytime thing. Phantom horses, too. Look at Zelda, that fierce look. I got this, Link. I am the servant of the secret fire, wielder of the flame of honor. The dark fire will not avail you. Flame of Odin. Nah, she wouldn't say that. <laughs> Jeez. Out in the nick of time. See all these dudes again. Three arrows, don't miss. Link. Chosen hero. Lend us the last of your power. Zelda's so beautiful in this game, man. Link's like, dude, we don't bow. Take my hand. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's do it. Alright, a horseback battle, man. I was so excited. I'll slow Ganondorf with my arrows. You target him and keep him within range. Yeah, sometimes this could be tricky. Another great example. Do it right or else it's not going to be fun. Fourth Aelingus! Ah, crud, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Get on the horse. Let's get it together. 
not fall off because this will be terrible if that keeps happening or I can shark turns yes all right get close enough to lock on stay as straight as possible yes got him catch up nunchuck do the th thing yes that crud but don't run into him unfortunately this is another thing if you know exactly what you're doing the fight's over within two seconds I'm screwing up though kind of frustrating me but I'm trying not to let it get to me yes okay they got they didn't knock me off I would love to see this redone with what they're capable of doing today. It's like a really good horseback battle. Don't miss, Zelda. You missed. Although, you gotta give her credit. She doesn't even have a saddle. What's she even holding on to? Besides the bow. Yes, go! Yes, I think one more spin attack should do it. Let's see if we can keep the pressure on. Yes, go! There it is. looking blade but nothing more would you hear my desire to take this foul blade and use it to blot out the light forever time for the fat man music dark lord Ganondorf seems really cool in concept Whoops, no, that's what I want. Drink up. Let's go, buddy. Wasn't able to get the great spin off. Oh, well. Oh, crud. Well, there goes the great spin for real. Cinematically kind of neat. I guess that's what they tend to go for. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just one more and then he's done. All you gotta do is keep your distance and wait for him to do the charge attack. Or, if you want to enjoy the moment and savor it, just swing like a madman. Oh crap, I'm losing. Okay. Yeah, it's over already! Holy crap! Great scream, though. <laughs> His mouth. That is a really cool scream, though. A death scream. I like it. Props to the guy who does Ganondorf's voice. Do not think this ends here! The history of light and shadow will be written in blood! Still looks cool even when he's dying, and this scene I still don't fully understand. I remember scouring through forums back in the day, and I think at one point I kind of had a clearer understanding, but since then I've forgotten. What a way to die, though, standing up. No matter what they say, Ganondorf in this game is pretty awesome. G even if gameplay-wise, he's a pushover. Cool shot of the three that are constantly in... I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know the word I'm thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that one dude that just sits on top of the ball. Uh, what was that, Farron? I think that was Farron. Link, run happily to your love. One of many that you have in this game, somehow. Although this one makes perfect sense. Midna's awesome, dude. Her outfit and everything. What? Say something. Am I so beautiful that you've no words left? What? I don't know what she was saying there. Are you not dark horse? Oh my gosh, Link, with the, f <laughs> the stupid dopey smiles. Learn some words, pal. Well, there you go. Somehow, Twilight Princess is already over. I feel like I blinked my eyes, and now we're at the credits. There were moments I was very invested, and I enjoyed it, definitely. I like this kind of instrument. It kind of sounds like The Sims. Sims 2 music is what it sounded like. Well, now it's just Twilight Princess. Oh yeah, look at those polygonal rocks. Good stuff. I don't know, this game is strange. I don't know what I think about it. I've kind of said along this whole journey that it was once, for a brief time, my favorite Zelda game. The story is the highlighting feature, absolutely. There are some very cool gameplay tidbits. Graphically, I don't think it holds up very well, but you gotta understand what it is, too, and then it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, this music is great, dude, so I like it. Interesting take on a credits theme. But I don't know, it's... It's weird, it's kind of an empty-feeling Zelda game. As most of them are. But it's in that weird pocket of GameCube where N64, it's like, okay, this is the first 3D, this is amazing, this is what they could do, and they created this amazing childhood journey. And they got a wagon, finally! The kids can go home, at long last. I kind of wish there was a post-game to this. I would love to go back to Ordon and live the simple life. Do some little side questy bits, maybe like the DLC stuff. I still wish they went that route with the Switch. For the longest time, I think I still have that discussion video up where I was talking about maybe for the Switch Virtual Console, before we knew that they weren't doing a Virtual Console. Dr. Wily... He wants another Jaeger bomb. But, uh... Yeah, I was saying, maybe instead of just putting up the same games to download again for like the sixth time for some of them, include retro DLC to give us incentive to buy those old games again. Like, because you imagine, for example, if you could buy Twilight Princess and there's a, uh, a second quest or even just a post game, how amazing that would be. But I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't even know what they're doing with the Switch Online stuff. Hey, Colin's got a sword and a shield. It's weird, he reminds me of my nephew. In appearance. There's Nutella. Looking down at her son. I don't know, I think what it is for me with this game is just how late in life I played it. 
It's definitely, it was the last, like I said, in part one. This is my last adventure before moving off to college. So I just kind of like quick crammed it in. I remember the story really hitting me hard. And then I shifted focus away from video games and just kind of lived life. So it's like this weird little pocket that I never got really immersed in, but kind of. Like for a brief moment I was immersed and then I stopped. So I don't know, almost like I haven't savored it enough. So in that respect, it's not as hard hitting, I feel like, as Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask and certainly a link to the past. But I definitely think of all of those games, this one has the best story. And some really memorable characters as well. But A Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time have the best traditional, like, the groundwork baseline Zelda story. Oh, and Wind Waker, for some reason I'm forgetting about that. Wind Waker is awesome too. What are you guys doing? How'd you get in the sacred grove? They rode their golden chicken. Yeah, this music is really good. And credit sequences are always great from Nintendo. Whoa, that's a gyrating wagon. Music. Definitely very good, of course. Hey, Uli had the baby. That's pretty cool. Well, I guess this is the answer here why there's not a post game. It's just for the credit sequence, the happy ending. Everybody's back. I want to say hi to everybody. Look at Ilya run into her dad after like 13 hours. Just imagine the feelings. And then we're back to the desert, randomly. More music! Oh, that was the, the teaser. Yeah, I remember the reaction when this game was shown off at E3 back whenever that first happened. Miyamoto came out with the Hylian Shield and a Master Sword. Those were like happier days or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, we get some more stuff here, don't we? Well, I guess this is farewell, huh? Light and shadow can't mix, as we all know. But, never forget that there's another world bound to this one. Shadow and light are two sides of the same coin. One cannot exist without the other. I know now the reason the goddesses left the Mirror of Twilight in this world. They left it because it was their design that we should meet. Yes, that is what I believe. Zelda, your words are kind and your heart is true. If all in Hyrule are like you, then maybe you'll do alright. Thank you. Well, the princess spoke truly. As long as that mirror is around, we could meet again. Link. I... See you later. It's cool how she says see you later instead of goodbye or anything. Like, it's so midna.
Darn. One has to wonder if we will ever see Midna again. I don't know, I feel like Nintendo is very good at staying out of the past. Well, I don't know, they make the same game all the time, don't they? But it's like one and done, move on, write something new. But certainly Midna is a very beloved character. More credits. That's fine. I always like these little end game things. Never really got like overly emotional with this one though. The way the final song in A Link to the Past stabs me. Wind Waker too was one that kind of stirred some feelings. Ocarina of Time too, I guess. Not really Majora though. Crazy though, that just a dumb video game could do something like that. It's not dumb. I mean, I guess it's not dumb. I don't know. Think of how many people poured a lot of their time and life into to make the game happen. But I feel like that's more appreciation than, well, I don't know. Bill Trennan, there he is. Those three names you see in like every game. Nate Bildorf as well. He should be in this, right? Because this is after Wind Waker. And he did this Blue Kaboom stuff. Oh, there he is. Okay. I wonder how it feels to have your name at the end of a video game. Like a really big video game, too. It's gotta be a cool feeling. I think project-based work like that is the way you need to... That's how you gotta live your life. Or work life, I suppose. Something that you can have and hold and be proud of, like a finished product. Not just go in and do the same thing every day. Just constantly refresh the same old that never has an end point. I mean, I guess you could argue video games don't have an endpoint. It's a, a business that's ongoing. But like Twilight Princess is a finished story. You know, it's like a book. That's a cool shot too. That'd be a good, speaking of books, that would be a good book cover or like on the backside. Oh, there he is, trying to call Link for the next, uh... Back to Herd and Goats, the simple life. But no Link appeared that day, because like Frodo says, some hurts go too deep. How do you go back? Ah, Ilya. How could you leave Ilya, Link? What's she gonna do? Who's in that village for her? Unless he's just going on a day trip, then okay. But if he's going to live forever after with Zelda, leaving Ilya hanging, well, I got issue with that, man. Even though Zelda's pretty awesome. You can't abandon somebody you grew up with and made love in the green grass with. I don't know. Well, there you go. That is Twilight Princess. There's the Cave of Ordeals and some other side quest stuff, but I'm not sure I really want to do any of that. I also mentioned maybe taking February off. I still want to do Yoshi's Crafted World, but a lot of stuff I don't know. There's a lot up in the air, and I got a lot to think about as far as my next project or what I even want to do with this channel going forward. So it's a big crossroads time period, so for now, we're just going to leave it here and see what happens. Leave it a mystery. But thanks a lot, you guys, for watching and supporting, and I hope to see you in the future. Take care.